Hello everyone and welcome to Van Touch Corner. In today's video, we are going to unbox the Huawei 4G router model B111ASA53. So let's see what is inside the box. We have the router come in a plastic bag. We have also the user guide and it is in Chinese. And at the same time, we also have the network cable to connect the router to the PC. And we have the power adapter because it is in Malaysia. So I have the two to three converters. This router support the 4G LTE and the 3G UMTS. Let's take a closer look at the router. On the top of the router, we have the power button and the WPS button. At the back, we have the power socket and the LAN port or the one port according to your setup. On the left side, we have a SIM card slot. Let's insert the SIM card connecting the power cable and powering on our router. We have some of the LED indicator here. So you have the power status indicator. The green icon is the data connection status. After that, we have the LAN or one LED status. And lastly, we have the mobile data signal status. When the data LED status change to red, we have some problem with the data connection and you can open the routers and have some checks on that. Now the data LED is green and we are having a working internet connection. Let's connect to the Wi-Fi and our LS ID will be Huawei.311 and dash a random number. So the Wi-Fi passwords will be stay on the label at the router. So it is 415 blah 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 blah. So you just need to take a look on that. And now we are connected to the routers and let's do a speed test. I am using the Unified Unlimited plan and is it the afternoon in the day so the connection may be a little bit slow. According to Huawei, the maximum download speed is 150 Mbps and the upload speed is 50 Mbps. Let's try another horse and see if the speed is better. We see that it works just fine. Good job.
the router has built-in antennas. However, you can improve the signal by plugging an external antenna to the router as long as this antenna has an SML connector. The installation is very easy. You just need to open the back cover of the router and then just plug in your external antennas and just need to spin some round until it gets tightened. And that's it. In the next video, we are going to walk through the web-based GUI of the router and it is in Chinese. So I will just show you the basic configuration values and then you can have a check on your own. At the same time, we will also check the mobile application in order to manage the router with English. That's all about this video. If you see it's helpful, please like, share and subscribe to the channel to support me. See you in the next video. Bye bye.